Good morning, Skyla. Skyla, sweetheart. Baby girl. Oh. We are getting ready for Thanksgiving. Today is the first day that we are actually, I'm gonna start cooking today. I have a couple errands to run. I'm picking up all of our groceries for Thanksgiving from ClickList. I'm going to look for a Christmas tree at Home Depot. I have to do some exchanges at Pier 1 and I need to pick up a couple more things. I need to go to Academy to get a deep fat fryer. That's it. I do want to pick up like a bouquet of flowers too, but I might do that later on in the future. Are you ready to run some errands, sweet girl? What you looking at? Are you going to put that bow in your mouth? How does that taste? Mmm. Ready to go get pick out a Christmas tree? Home Depot. Hopefully we can find a good one here, huh? She puts her pacifier in her mouth now. It blows my mind. That's kind of cool. I like the pre-lit ones that you can change. You know, like you can change the lights from, this one has like, see how it's changing? But you can choose what color you want. I really like that. Look at the frozen characters. Or I guess just spin. Look at all of this stuff. I'm happy that you can't talk yet because she'd be going, Mommy, I want that. Mommy, I want that. Mommy, I want that. <laughs> That's the one we're getting right there. The nine foot prelits here in Nevada. And it changes from colored to, from clear to colored. It's gonna be a good tree for us, huh? I love it. Yay! to maneuver in Pier 1 with a stroller. Go. Ooh, I love that. Yeah? Click list is where you, I've told you guys this before, but basically you make your list online and then you check out when you get to the store and then they load it up for you. You just pull up to one of these little uh, rows and you call the number and tell them which row you're in and then they come in and they load everything in for you. It's the easiest thing ever and especially for Thanksgiving, this is going to save me so much time. I'm currently at Starbucks getting a grande ice latte with two pumps chestnut praline syrup and a holiday turkey and stuffing panini for lunch. It's 11.10, but I've been awake since six, so I mean, it is time to eat. I haven't eaten anything. I haven't even eaten breakfast today. So I go home to unload the click list stuff, and I'm locked out of the house. So what I did was I unloaded all the stuff that was like perishable, like the cold stuff. I just put it in the deep freeze because Nick's on an appointment and he'll probably, I mean, I don't know, it'll probably be about five hours at least, maybe six before he's home. So I guess that stuff will just freeze and then I'll move it into the fridge, which it's not my favorite scenario, but at least we have a deep freeze. At least it's not gonna, you know, get warm and then all that food that I just picked up is, won't be ruined. But now Skyla and I are gonna go to Costco. I'm gonna look at their trees at Costco because the tree that I want that's at Home Depot, they were sold out of. Costco is just as packed as it is on the weekend. Um, everywhere I've been going, oh my gosh. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I think some people have the whole week off for Thanksgiving, or if they don't, they just think that this entire week is a write-off, which I kind of do. I kind of think it's a write-off. But I can't put Skylar in the hammock anymore, that Binksy hammock, because she tries to climb out of it. She's too strong now, so I'm bummed, but I can't use that. So I guess I'm going to put her car seat in the cart, which really, really sucks, because if I get a Christmas tree, I'm going to have to get help out either way, but... Uh, it takes up all the room. Putting the, the car seat in the car, it takes up all the room. I can't wait till she can sit up in like the seat area, which is where your child is supposed to go. That That's what I'm waiting for. Somebody's being a very good girl. I got 
two of these things of Kerrygold because this is the best butter. You guys, I'm dressed like a freaking weirdo today. Don't judge. And then a bouquet. It's a good idea to give I really wanted to get a Christmas tree and a deep fat fryer, but I couldn't find that. Well, I couldn't find the ones that I wanted. The one at Home Depot is the tree is better at Home Depot, so I'm going to try a different Home Depot. Hopefully that tree hasn't sold out. They said there's three at another location. They found the tree, but he said it was way up high, so they're going to have to get it for us. They only had three left because it's the best tree ever. You guys should check out your Home Depot and see if you have it because it's super popular and you guys need this tree. It was hiding in the middle right here. It's this nine foot one. We got it guys. We got the tree I wanted. It all worked out. I'm so excited about this tree. It's just like, I'm pumped. It's a super popular tree. So now I'm gonna go get the deep fat fryer at Academy and we should be done for the day. I'm ready to get out of these Uggs because it is not cold today. It's hot and I thought it was gonna be cold. I was wrong. These three jars are always here in this room and I took out, I had some just regular orange pumpkins. I took those out and I added the this little pump, pumpkin mixture from Pier One. This candle in here, this is from Pier One and this is Fall Festival. It smells amazing and I got two of these. I have one on that side and then one that goes in here. And these jars are awesome because you can change them out just for every season. Then I did the same thing with this one in the middle except for this candle that's in there is pumpkin spice. It smells amazing. And then this beaded, like this runner, I always keep on the table except for on Halloween. I have a Halloween one that's special. But um, for this, I love this because his details are so beautiful. But I got this one because I think it's a very Thanksgiving type feel and it matches my setting. So now I'm going to put a setting together to show you guys what I'm thinking before each personal table setting. The details are awesome, huh? So the silverware is Mikasa. Sorry, I moved it around a little bit. This is Mikasa table silverware. These are these three. This is a charger. So um, I had a couple people ask me what a charger is and basically it, you can set your plate on it to make it a more fancy setup. So these are from Pier 1 and then the napkin ring and the napkin are both from Pier 1. This is water for, there's three plates here, bread plate, salad plate, and um, dinner plate. And these are from Macy's. This is my china that I registered for at my wedding. The brand is Waterford. Then the water glass, it's one of the crackle, it's blown glass. Duchess, down, down. Blown glass from Pier 1. And then I got these for the table, salt and pepper shakers from Pier 1. And then this is the wine glass that I'm going to use. They're Linux and it's crystal. Um, you're supposed to put the water glass up here and the wine glass a little bit back like that, but it looks okay. It doesn't look fantastic, but it looks okay. But I just think that everything looks really good with the detailing. Duchess, down. So I was looking at my turkey because I was trying to figure out, hmm, we're deep frying it, so do I need to brine it? Do I still need to brine my turkey? And this is what I found on my butterball turkey. Contains up to 4% of a solution of water, salt, and spices for tenderness and juiciness. That means I don't need to brine it. At least that's what I'm taking from it. That's pretty much means it's already been brined. I'm not gonna do it again since there's already salt in it. Look at the flowers, they look so pretty. There, look at that, it looks awesome. So I wrote out when I need to cook everything. So today I'm gonna make the cheese balls and put them in the fridge until for two days because the more time that the cheese balls sit in the fridge, like if they sit in the fridge for a couple days, they taste better. I'm using my grandmother's recipe for that in the Pandel cookbook. And then um, her pumpkin pie I'm gonna cook today. Then tomorrow I'm cooking or uh, cooking the stuffing, the rolls, or preparing the rolls because then I'll actually cook them on Thanksgiving. And then sex in a pan, which is dessert, it's amazing. Then this is all the stuff I have to cook actually on Thanksgiving, like from scratch. And then this will all be ready on Thanksgiving, so I just have to heat it up. Okay, here's the Pandale cookbook. This was my dad's, but my grandmother gave it to him because my grandmother and all of the ranch wives made this cookbook. They were called the Pandale Study Club, and they put this together. My grandmother gave it to my dad in 82. Grease Ranch, right there, that's uh, 
my ranch. And Mrs. Terry Martha Grease, that's my grandmother. Well, okay, here's the cheese ball. It's on page nine, actually. So here it is, Mrs. Terry Grease, this is her cheese ball. Step one is done. This cheese grating wheel is life. Okay, I have How mixed much? in just like a lot because a lot in one area. Okay, just take the top off. <laughs> I had to rinse off the cheese bowl. We're not really off to the best start this Thanksgiving, but uh, it called for half a teaspoon and you guys saw how much was on there. So I rinsed it and then I patted it dry. <laughs> Should be fine, right? Here we go, pumpkin pie. Eggs are frothy. Add remaining ingredients and beat well. Here comes Santa Claus right down Santa Claus Lane. So fill your heart with Christmas above, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Oh, well, it's so man, it does show Santa stuff. I have my day old bread getting ready for tomorrow. This is for my stuffing. Very pretty time. This song makes me emotional, guys. It's a very sweet Christmas. A Christmas. It's looking great. What's that two? Two. I don't know what that means. That's the second piece that goes on it. Oh. We don't keep these on it, do we? No, but keep them on for now. I'm gonna write on them with like a marker or something. Like on the base part. Why isn't it on the base? <laughs> I wish Nick is experiencing the tree for the first time. What do you think, honey? Isn't that cool that you can change whatever you want with the lights? Like that? Maybe? No. Want to leave it on colors for now? Sure. That's cool. You should see what it looks like on the screen. It's like, looks like it's flickering, but it's not. Look on the screen. See how it looks like it's flickering? Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. I'm making a ton of whipped cream because I need to use it for multiple different things so I just made the whole batch and you can't ever have too much whipped cream on hand okay here's the electric turkey fryer I got I thought that it would be safer than the propane one just because my mom told me that people get hurt every year doing it so I went with this one and I'm really excited to see how it works I'll let you guys know I've got my pies should be done in four minutes, uh-oh. And here they are. And we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna probably go feed Skyla and change her because she needs mommy. And Nick and I are gonna watch some TV and go to bed. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the links below my video and I'll see you in my next one. Good night. Oh, Skyla. Yes.